So let us talk about volumetric analysis. Uh, under an investigation or experiment to determine the nature of matter, uh, there are two important aspects here to, uh, to take note of. Number one, the components of the substance, and aspect number two, the amount of each component. So we have the components of the substance, and number two, the amount of the substance. So here, having known this, we can simply tell or know the nature of matter in that aspect. So if we have an equation, for example, A appears plus B appears, giving us C appears. Uh, how we know A and we know B, we can get the nature of C. Because we mix, we get A, mix it with B, we get C. Therefore, we can know C by using A and B. So we have some terms that we use here. We have terms used. Terms used. Number one, the first term is uh, a standard solution. Standard solution. So we can simply define the standard solution as a solution whose concentration whose concentration is known. Is known. Examples of standard solutions uh, we have two twenty four grams of sodium chloride in one liter of solution. Uh, 10 grams of sodium hydroxide in 500 cubic centimeters of solution. So those are examples of standard solutions. Number two, we can talk about a molar a molar solution. A molar is number two. Molar solution. A molar solution is one or is one which contains this one contains one gram uh, one mole of a substance in one liter. So a molar, a molar solution is a solution that contains one mole of a substance in one liter. Uh, number three, we can talk about molarity. So we can define molarity as the number of moles, the number of moles in one liter in a liter. Of solution. The number four can talk about concentration. Concentration is the amount of a substance of a substance contained in a given amount of solution. solution. We have examples here. Calculate the molarities of the following solutions given. Sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, hydrogen 1, carbon 12, chlorine 5.5. Uh, part A, 13.5 grams of copper to chloride in one decimeter cube of solution. So this one is a standard solution because they are giving us the concentration in grams per liter. So we have in, in one liter, that is what in one decimeter cube, we have 13.5 grams. So this is concentration in grams per decimeter cube. But now we need concentration in moles per 
this week I should almost probably done. So what we are going to do here, uh, we know that uh, this is solution for part A. Part A. Let us first find the RFM of uh, copper two chloride. Copper two chloride. So the RFM of copper chloride is copper is sixty four plus chlorine is thirty five point five times two, giving us one hundred five. That is the RFM of copper two chloride. That this mass is contained in one mole. Then how many moles are contained or are contained in this mass? So what we say here is 105 grams of copper two chloride uh, is contained in one mole. So if 105 is contained in one mole, one of the one gram of copper two chloride uh, is contained cross multiply one times one divided by one thirty five these are moles. So one what what of the thirteen point five grams. So the thirteen point five grams thirteen point five grams of copper to chloride are contained in cross multiply again one times one over one at the five then time was uh, thirteen point five this is moles uh, the answer that we get is zero point one but we don't put moles because that is concentration in moles per liter what we do is we put there capital M which is zero point one Molar. We put the capital M to represent uh, this is moles per liter. We have 0 0.1 moles in 1 liter. In part B, we have 4.0 grams of sodium hydroxide in 400 cubic centimeters of solution. We need to find the molality of this. So we have that uh, 400 cubic centimeters of solution. Contain uh, for a contained a contained four grams of sodium hydroxide. Four hundred milliliters of solution contain four grams of sodium hydroxide. What of one cubic centimeter of sodium of solution contain? Cross multiply one times four over four hundred. Uh, grams of sodium hydroxide. Now, if one of one contains that, what of a liter? A liter is one thousand cubic centimeters. So, a liter contains one thousand cubic centimeters because a liter, a liter is equal to one decimeter cube. This is one liter is also equal to one thousand cubic centimeters. So one of the three centers of solution contain cross multiply again one thousand times one times four divided by four hundred. These are grams of sodium hydroxide. So we get here ten grams. So these ten grams are contained in one thousand cubic centimeters. That means these are ten grams per liter. So this is concentration, concentration in grams per liter. So when you ask for concentration in grams per liter, this is what we have. Because we have 10 grams uh, being contained in a thousand cubic centimeters. But what we need is moles per liter. So I'm going to change these grams to moles. Uh, remember, one mole of a substance uh, uh, is the same as the RFM. Let us first find the RFM of sodium hydroxide. RFM of sodium hydroxide is sodium is 23 plus oxygen is 16 times 1 
plus hydrogen is 1 times 1, giving us 23 plus 16, that is 39 plus 1, giving us 40. That is the relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide. So you know that 40 grams of sodium hydroxide contain one mole. Therefore, one gram of sodium hydroxide will contain contain was multiplied one times one divided by forty. These are moles. What of this gram? This this mass that is contained in a liter. So we shall say ten grams of sodium hydroxide contain. Uh, cross multiply 10 times 1 times 1 over 40. These are moles. So the answer will be 0 0.25 a quarter molar. Remember, these are moles in a liter. Therefore, we use factor M to represent molality. So, part C, we have 53 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate in 23. Is meter cube. So our task here is classifying the mass in the liter. So uh, 53 uh, grams. Uh, no, let me begin with this part C. Uh, two decimeters cube of solution uh, contain 53 grams of sodium carbonate that is anhydrous so what of the one decimeter cube so one decimeter cube you know one decimeter cube is equal to a liter of solution uh, contain equals multiply one times 53 divided by by two so these are grams of sodium carbonate this one will give us 26.5 grams of sodium carbonate. So this is this is the concentration in grams per liter. 26 grams, 26.5 grams of sodium carbonate are formed in one liter, which one liter is one decimeter cube. So therefore, this is concentration in grams per liter, but we need concentration in moles per liter. So we first find the RFM of sodium carbonate. So it is 23 times 2, that is sodium. Sodium is 23 times 2. Then plus carbon is plus carbon is 4 times 1. Then plus oxygen is 16 times 3. So uh, when you add up all this, you get 46 plus 12 plus 48 this one give us 60 plus this is 106 that is the RFM of sodium carbonate so from there I can simply find the molarity that is moles per liter I know that 106 grams of sodium carbonate uh, contain one mole what if the one gram of sodium carbonate contain cross multiply one times one over one zero six? These are moles. So if one contains those moles, what of this mass that is contained in a liter, which is twenty six point five grams of sodium carbonate contain? Let's multiply again 26.5 times 1 times 1 again divided by 106. These are moles. So the answer here will be in uh, molar. So we shall have 0 0.25 molar. Use capital M. So what do you realize here? That for our answers in part A, part B, and part C, we get the molarity. Molarity, which is in moles per liter, as 
We have the concentration in grams per liter, which is up here. The concentration in grams per liter, and we divide by the relative formula mass. So for all for all our answers we had above, we have been getting molarity as concentration in grams per liter divided by the RFM. But this one is not advisable to be used in calculations. We only use the formula in objective type of questions and we use the first principles in calculating numbers. Example 2. Calculate the mass of the named substance needed to make at a 0.1 liter cubed of 2 molar sodium sulfate solution. So, solution at a 0.1 decimeter cubed of 2 molar sodium sulfate solution. What we need to do here is to first find the number of moles contained in 0.1 decimeter cubed. So, only this segment here, 2 molar, simply means that 1 decimeter cubed of uh, sodium, there is the formula, sodium sulfate solution contains two moles. So this, this two mole I give that statement. What would the 0 0.1 decimeter cubed? A 0 0.1 decimeter cubed of sodium sulfate uh, contains uh, cross multiply 0 0.1 times 2 divided by 1. These are moles. So the moles here we have 0 0.2 moles. So after finding the number of moles, we're supposed to find the mass. But we need to know the RFM of sodium sulfate. The RFM of sodium sulfate is given by sodium is 23 times 2 atoms plus sulfur is 32 times 1. Oxygen is 16 plus 16 times 4. So this one gives us 46 plus 32. This is plus 16, 64. So when we add up this, we are going to get 142. That is the RFM of sodium sulfate. But this uh, RFM is contained by one mole. But I need to find the mass that is having 0 0.2 moles. So I'm going to put the mass on the right hand side and the moles on the left hand side. So we say one mole of sodium sulfate weighs uh, 1.2 grams. This mass that we have got here. What of the 0 0.2 moles? 0 0.2 moles of sodium sulfate where I'll, I'll put multiply again. This time is this divided by this. 1.42 times 4.2 divided by 1. Here we shall get 28.4 grams. Therefore, this is the mass that was needed to make a solution of 0.1 decimeter cubed of 2 molar sodium sulfate solution. Uh, part B 1 liter of 0.25 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So this statement here means uh, 1 liter contains. 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide solution. So, 0.5 moles are contained in one liter. So, the next step here is only to find the RFM, RFM of sodium, sodium hydroxide. Since we have also been given one liter here also. So, Alpha of sodium hydroxide is sodium is 23 times 1 plus oxygen is 16 times 1 plus hydrogen is 1 times 1. 
This is string 3 plus 16 plus 1, giving us 40. That is the addition, therefore, the masses are 40 grams. From there, know that this 40 grams is contained by one mole. Therefore, I said one mole of sodium hydroxide weighs 40 grams. If one mole weighs 40 grams, what of the 0 0.25 moles of sodium hydroxide weigh or to multiply 40 times 4.25 divided by 1. All of this is grams. When I put that into the calculator, I'll get 10 grams. Let's see, 25 cubic centimeters of 0 0.1 molar potassium carbonate solution. So this statement here, 0 0.1 molar, 0 0.1 molar simply means that 1,000 cubic centimeters of potassium carbonate is the formula potassium carbonate. Uh, contains 0 0.1 moles. Now, if 1,000 contains 0 0.1 moles, what of the 1 cubic centimeter of potassium carbonate contain, contains? Let's multiply 1 times 0 0.1 divided by 1,000. This are Marks. So, what of the uh, given volume, which is 25 cubic centimeters of potassium carbonate uh, contains? We are going to cross multiply again, saying it is 1 times 0.1 over 1000 times again 25. This R. Months. So the answer here will be 0 0.0025 months. So having the number of months, let us find the RFM, RFM of potassium carbonate is given by potassium 39 times 2 plus carbon is 2 times 1 plus oxygen is 16 times 3 this is 48 this is 12 plus plus this is 8 uh, this is 78 in summation it will give us 1 by the 8 that this mass here is contained in 1 mole so 1 mole of potassium Carbonate weighs 1.8 grams. What of the number of moles? 0 0.0025 moles. These ones of potassium carbonate weigh. Cross multiply. This one 0 0.00. 25 and 138 over 1. The answer here is going to be 0 0.345 grams. Therefore, that is the mass of potassium carbonate needed to make 25 cubic centimeters of 0 0.1 molar potassium carbonate solution.